members of the Diplomatic Corps, friends of Latin America, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this exhibition of photography of Latin America. My name is John Minns and I'm the director of the Australian National Centre for Latin American Studies here at the ANU. And on behalf of ANCLUS and the Latin American Students Association here at the ANU, I'd like to welcome you to this amazing collection of photographs of Latin America. When uh, Marcelo Hernandez, who's the president of the Latin American Students Association, who's here, uh, too shy to speak tonight, uh, first suggested doing a photographic exhibition and competition, I thought of my own snaps of Latin America and thought perhaps that's not such a wonderful idea and what we might have on the walls might not really show Latin America in the light that it should be shown in. But in fact, what we see on the walls is something I think quite extraordinary. The quality of these things is very, very high. And I think there are 55 photos on the walls tonight, but more than 200 were submitted, which indicates, I think, that there's a great deal of interest in Latin America and you can't really help in looking at these photographs but get a sense of the excitement and the passion and the interest that people have in Latin America. Uh, say what you like about the region. I've never known anyone who's gone there and come back and said that they were bored by it. Uh, everyone, I think, who visits Latin America, who has any experience of Latin America, you know, feels that vibrancy in the life and much of that comes through these photographs tonight. I'd like to thank a number of people and organisations for the organisation of this evening and actually making it possible. First of all, the various Latin American embassies and missions in Canberra, who have always been a great support to our activities here at the ANU with ANCLUS and now with the Latin American Students Association as well. I think we've had prizes donated by uh, the embassies of Mexico, Ecuador, Brazil, Peru and Argentina and food by, I think, all of the Latin American embassies and drinks, beer and wine and so on. And also uh, two, two commercial organisations who have been very important. One in helping to provide food, the flavours of Peru uh, out there. And also an organisation called the Photo Mob because blowing up these photographs on our budget uh, would be very difficult if we hadn't had support from that organisation and being able to do it to these sites to these sizes. Uh, I'd like to welcome the Latin American Students Association, not just to speak here, but also as, as an organisation here on campus, because for a number of years now, it's just been ankless doing Latin American activities, and in the last 12 months or so, the Latin American Students Association has really added some life uh, to, the, to the whole picture of Latin America here at the ANU. They've done a fantastic job, they're extremely dynamic, extremely vibrant. Uh, Marcella and her equipo here have done just a wonderful job with all this exhibition and putting it together. But to actually speak on behalf of LASA, uh, would you please welcome Mauricio Camacho. Um, hi, I hope everyone's enjoying the show. Um, Thank you everyone for coming and everyone who submitted pictures. Um, they're really good. Uh, we actually weren't expecting as many as we got and so that was really cool. Um, we want to thank the School of Arts for lending us these um, rooms uh, to, to put up the, the, the show. Um, and everyone, like uh, John was saying, uh, the embassies were, without their help, this wouldn't have been able to be done. And Sasabor with the prices and um, Photomov with the pictures and everyone. Um, we also had help with the judging and everything. And, um, well, yeah, this actually turned out to be pretty good. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, uh, we're happy. Uh, LASA has just really been born uh, four months ago. Um, we're actually quite happy where we are right now. Uh, our main objective is to create a, a bridge of knowledge of Latin America with Australia and I think, and with ANU. I think we're, we're heading in the right direction with all these events we're, we're organizing. And um, so, yeah, we're pretty happy. And um, thank you all for coming. And, Enjoy the rest of your night. <laughs> Thanks, Mauricio. And it now, I think, falls to me to actually award the prizes. I might say, as I said before, 200 uh, photographs were originally submitted and there are about 55 on the walls. And it went through three layers of judging 
before it finally got to Lucas Koch, who's a professional photographer who's here tonight, and also uh, an expert in Latin American politics, uh, who teaches here at the ANU, to make the final selection and the final three that come out of that. I feel like saying, the envelope, please, but actually... <laughs> I have um, the third prize. I think it's traditional to do it in reverse order, isn't it? So the third prize I'll award first. That consists of salsa lessons from Salsa Ball. And depending on your affiliation, this wonderful player, uh, football shirt of Brazil, with the World Cup coming up in, uh, in Brazil. Of course, this could be an extremely valuable, it is an extremely valuable item. And the third place, the third prize with the photograph titled Chico del Choclo is Stephen Summerhouse. Now, Stephen, I think, is actually not here tonight. Uh, he sent us an email sending his regrets, so we'll have to keep that for him. The second prize, which consists of a book. I think, and uh, not wine, Bisco, Bisco. One cannot call Bisco mere wine, I think, uh, which has been donated by the Embassy of Peru, goes to the photograph titled Heat at the Pasembu by Ileana Medina. Yeah? Is she here? I'll take it on. Ileana? <laughs> Ileana Medina? Medina? Not here. She was around. We'll have to keep that for her too, but that will be an easy thing to keep. I'll just put it over here. And the first prize with uh, a book donated by the Embassy of Brazil. Elena is here? Okay. Thank you. Don't succumb to any pressure to open it tonight. Uh, and the first prize, which consists of this book. This, uh, this isn't on my list of prizes. Sorry. Okay. Uh, and the first prize, which consists of this book from the Embassy of Brazil. And I was told that people, uh, students and so on, like electronic gadgets. So Anklas has donated a Kindle Touch uh, as the first prize. The combination of those two goes to a photo titled In Uniform by Anthea Clark. Oh. Anthea here. Well done. <laughs> you can speak if you want. <laughs> um, 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 yeah, I'm kind of honoured to be chosen as the first prize because the photos here are really amazing. Um, and they make you want to go back to South America, so, yeah. Thanks, everyone, for everything. <laughs> Finally, I'd just like to thank all of you. First of all, actually, all of the people who submitted photographs, even those that didn't make the third, second, whatever cut, uh, made the competition really good, I think, and ended up with a really high quality of photos and made it a really exciting event. And to all of you for coming. Uh, there will be many more events uh, like this at the ANU about Latin America, and you're welcome to come to all of them. Thanks once again, and enjoy the rest of the evening.